But um, this part of the video, I think, won't come out until such time as the unit's available as a production unit um, because I want people to listen to the ABC results um, with an open mind. And if, if people, you know, when that particular portion of the video is out, basically agree that, yeah, the KTR does seem to sound um, essentially the same as these two old Centaurs that we've been ABCing it with um, today, then, uh, you know, subsequently once it's, uh, you know, once it becomes common knowledge uh, that the KTR is, uh, is made with surface mount components, if people start going, ah, it just doesn't sound as good, then hopefully, you know, other people will weigh in and say, hey, wait a minute, you know, a while back when we were listening to the ABC results, um, you know, a bunch of us agreed that they did really sound the same. So that's, that's, the, that's the purpose of, uh, of this little demonstration. Um, now there's one other thing I'm going to show you guys, and I'm going to have to walk a few feet away and get it, but I think it'll be instructive. So let me put that down, and I'm going to go get what I need to get. And here it is. This is my original, my testing jig. This is the jig uh, on which every single uh, Centaur board, both production for every, every purpose aside from production, every single board got listened to on this testing jig. Um, it's got input, output, uh, outboard power, you can use battery, um, whatever you want to do. What I wanted, the reason I wanted to show it to you now is because you can see that the board um, that's on the testing jig at present, and you can uh, take the boards on and off with these two little pieces of, uh, you, wouldn't, you wouldn't even call them angle iron. I guess you'd call them little angle brackets. These little angle brackets, they just uh, you know, turn you know, and, and allow you to uh, change boards on the testing jig. But you can see that the board that happens to be on here now is one of my experimental boards. It's experimental board number two and everything is socketed. Everything on this board, um, you know, laboriously John and I spent, you know, God knows how long for each of these stupid things, um, soldering individual sockets for uh, every single component. Um, and uh, this particular uh, experimental board where everything is socketed, um, as you can see, has actual surface mount components that John and I, again, um, driving ourselves absolutely crazy uh, soldered um, through hole leads on every one of these components and many many more you know many many others aside from the ones that are on this board and so this is how we were able to verify over the course of an awful lot of listening over a long period of time that um, that we really would be able to create um, a new surface mount version of the circuit uh, that sounded the same as the old through hole version you know, basically, we plugged in all of these components, and we kind of obsessively tried different resistors, different caps, um, until we found the ones in each position um, that would really give us uh, the results um, that were analogous to, you know, what, what everybody's come to expect from Centaurs, you know, given that there's so many of them out there. And, um, you know, this is really the only way, as far as I'm concerned, that you can do it. You can build up a whole bunch of different boards with different components, but the only way that you can actually just change out one thing at a time and literally control for everything else on the board is do it this way, where everything is socketed, and if you want to mess with a particular capacitor, if you want to you know, see what the, the alternatives are and how they affect the sound, basically you, know, you solder up a bunch of these things and you, um, and you just uh, start dropping them in, start swapping them out. Um, you see that I can even actually, uh, I've got a piece of angle iron up here on which I can mount, um, uh, you know, toggle switches, single pole double throws, double pole double throws, in some cases I can <coughs> triple pole double throws, and, uh, you know, that will allow you to go back and forth between various alternatives in real time, in, you know, in exactly the same way that, uh, that we were doing it with the ABC box today, listening to the three pedals. So, um... You know, an awful lot of work, I guess what I'm trying to say here in my own roundabout way is an awful lot of work went into creating this. Um, I know everybody's been complaining about how long it's taken and why isn't it out and blah, blah, blah. And, you know, I get that. I understand that. 
but uh, it's not, um, you know, when you're, when you're making a wholesale change from essentially one technology, through hole technology, to surface mount technology, if you really want to do it right and make sure that at the end of that process you've got something that's, you know, for all practical purposes the same as what you had before, as far as I'm aware, this is really the only way you can do it. And so, uh, you know, hell, for my own sake and John's sake, um, you know, as well as everyone else's, I certainly regret that it has taken as long as it has. I wish it would have been easier. Um, but, uh, you know, I think this is what was necessary in order to, uh, you know, to get the results that I wanted and I think that everybody else expects as well. So, uh, that's pretty much it. As a player, I appreciate it. <laughs> cool. Day. Well, uh, you know, as they say, it's a dirty job, but somebody's got to do it, right? So, I think that's it. Um, anything else? Sounds good to me. Okay, I don't think so either. So, uh, everybody take care. Thanks for watching and listening, and um, hope you enjoy the new unit.